One fun challenge is to see how far you can make your food stretch. This can be done in a couple of different ways. The first way is to add extra inexpensive ingredients. If you buy orange juice concentrate, add an extra half cup of water when you make it to stretch the orange juice. Another example would be to add extra carrots or potatoes to a stew to make it stretch a little farther. Last, let's say you made a pot of chili and invited some friends over. Some people didn't get back to you and let you know if they were going to come. When your guests arrive, you end up having a lot more people than you had originally expected. No need to stress about it. Add an extra can of beans or tomatoes to your chili and you are set. Another way to stretch your food is to divide something and use it more than once. This can be as simple as dividing a banana in half, using it over two days instead of one. Half a banana is a proper portion size anyway. Another example can be with tortillas. You divide the tortillas into several parts and freeze the ones you aren't going to use right away. Use one part of the tortillas for tacos one night, breakfast burritos one morning, enchiladas for another dinner, quesadillas or wraps for lunches another day, etc. This also works very well with meat. Considering the fact that people don't need to eat a lot of meat, try using meat more as an addition or an ingredient or a nice flavoring to a meal instead of as the main dish. For example, a rotisserie chicken at our local warehouse store costs $4.99. The chicken in this picture was bought through online shopping at a different store and is about half the size and was more expensive than the chicken we usually get, but it will do to show you the point I'm trying to make. You could probably eat this chicken in one meal with your family and only have it last one meal. That is a lot of meat and you really don't need that much meat in one sitting. Try dividing the meat ahead of time to stretch it out and use it for multiple meals. For example, day one, you could have chicken, mashed potatoes, gravy, etc. Use the drumsticks for the kids and the thighs for the adults for the chicken for this meal. Day two, use part of one of the chicken breasts and make white chicken chili. Day three, use the other part of the first breast and make chicken divan. Day four, use the first part of the second breast and make chicken enchiladas. Day five, use the other part of the second chicken breast and make a chicken vegetable stew or a chicken noodle soup. Day six, use some of the extra meat from the wings and carcass to make chicken quesadillas or a chicken stir fry. Day seven, pull off any extra meat left on your chicken, make wraps or have a chicken salad with the last bit of the chicken left. You could even cook the chicken carcass and make broth for soup out of it. Find ways that work for you to make your food stretch and save money in the process.